class 12 biology uh, what should I teach for during this particular month after much thought and deliberation I uh, decided to prepare videos on our second unit of the NCRT textbook that is uh, genetics and evolution uh, as you can see over here uh, the genetics portion the unit 7 that is genetics and evolution it carries 18 marks out of 70 so uh, if you see uh, all the five units among all the five units this particular unit carries the maximum mark um, hopefully I will get to finish the genetics portion of the unit during this particular month uh, in the next slide you can see the details of the unit there are uh, three chapters uh, I will cover the genetics portion uh, which uh, which has two chapters chapter number five and six um, in the first chapter we have uh, principles of inheritance and variation uh, the second chapter is molecular basis of inheritance um, you can pause the video and uh, read through the details of the chapters uh, what are the topics that are covered under the each chapter uh, or uh, you what you can do is you can go to the CBSC official website and download the entire syllabus uh, the CBSC official website will be www.cbsc.nic.in so you can download uh, your entire syllabus from the curriculum section on their web page so uh, regarding the biology subject and how to do well how to score well in biology subject in CBSE board examinations I usually give some important tips uh, to my students at the beginning of the academic session which I want them to remember and keep that in mind throughout the year so here are the tips the first and the foremost will be definitions you need to prepare definitions you need to prepare and remember definitions of many different biological terms in biology you will come across many different terminologies which which we don't get to use in our day-to-day -day conversation so it becomes difficult uh, if you are not well versed with those terminologies and their definitions so you have to have uh, prepared definitions of each and every uh, scientific terms like uh, for example if I give you an example define genes so how would you define a gene so even though you know what a gene is, if you don't have a ready-made answer, if you don't have a ready-made definition of the genes, uh, it will prove difficult for you to write down in your examination. So uh, gene definition uh, would go something like this. Genes are the unit of inheritance. They carry information necessary to express a particular trait in an organism. So these definitions you can find in your textbook. So you can note it down in a piece of paper or you can uh, you can have a separate notebook in which you can write down all the important terms uh, in that particular note and write their definitions. So the second uh, important tip or advice that I give to my students is to try practicing uh, drawing the diagrams. Like you need to have practice uh, how to draw neat and labeled diagrams so uh, diagrams are like inseparable part of the biology subject even though uh, in examinations uh, certain questions may not ask you specifically to draw diagrams if you feel like uh, the diagrams will uh, convey uh, the concept better I, I advise you strongly to draw diagrams as much as possible because if you draw diagrams uh, it will it will help you to score better uh, and you, you you should draw neat and labeled diagrams in biology subject so you have to practice drawing diagrams and the third exam uh, the third tip that I give is um, I ask my students to uh, remember examples which are specifically given in your textbook uh, regarding certain concepts like uh, if uh, if you know extra examples well and good but I strongly advise you to remember the examples which are given in your textbook why I'm saying this is because uh, when you write your board examination and when your paper goes to an evaluator or uh, the person who scores or who checks your paper the 
that person will be given a marking scheme and in that particular marking scheme for each and every uh, question in their answers uh, all the examples given will be from your NCRT textbook. So if you have written examples from some other materials uh, like Wikipedia or some guidebook or um, some other uh, resources, so even though uh, your example is correct, I think uh, there is a very uh, big chance that the evaluator, the, he does not, he or she does not know about that particular uh, example. So he or she will score you based upon the marking scheme and that marking scheme, uh, all the examples uh, written there in that marking scheme will be from the NCRT textbook. So that's why I want you to remember examples in given in the NCRT textbook. So that is uh, the third. And the fourth one, uh, which is very important, uh, the fourth advice that I give to my students is read your NCRT textbook uh, like your prayer book. Uh, try to read as much as possible. Uh, this is very important because unfortunately our students, uh, they don't like reading. They don't like reading much. So, uh, which, push, uh, which uh, makes them score less. Uh, reading textbook is really important. You have to read in such a way that when somebody uh, reads out a statement, uh, you should be able to tell like, oh, that particular statement is from that particular unit and that particular chapter. So you have to have that much confidence, right? You have to read and see your textbook. And I'm saying this from now itself because you have enough time to read your textbook several times. Uh, so uh, if I tell this, t uh, this tip at the end of the year when the board examination is nearing, uh, that won't make much sense, right? Uh, so you can read, you can start reading from now itself and read as many times as possible. And the final uh, example, the final tip that I give to my students is that uh, you have to practice how to articulate and present your answers in the answer sheet. So I think articulation and presentation of answers is really important because why I'm saying this is because Scoring well in an examination, I think it's a skill. It's more of a skill. Even though you and your friend uh, can have the same knowledge about a basic, uh, same basic knowledge about a concept, if your friend has got better articulation and presentation skills, uh, he or she will score much better than you. I can guarantee that. Even though uh, the content knowledge is the same, uh, how you score better in in your examination is how you, how you present your answers in your answer sheet so that is the skill so you have to practice uh, how you answer uh, certain questions so these are the important tips that i get that i give to my students and i'm giving them to you as well i want you to remember these tips uh, in order to score better in your board examinations in next year now, uh, before we start with our video tutorials, uh, what I want you to do is uh, please, please, please read before watching those videos, right? Why I'm saying this is because most of our students, what they do is they come to the classroom with their heads empty, right? I'm not trying to condescend here over here because that is the truth, right? I used to do the same thing when I was in school. So this one, I, th I find it very important because if you don't read, if you don't read before coming to the classroom, if you don't read before watching any videos, you won't be having any kind of question in your mind, right? If you go home and read your textbook, right? And the next day when you have a class, right, you will have lots of questions and when you have questions in your mind regarding a concept you will tend to focus better in the classroom right you, you, you tend to have uh, better attention you tend to give better attention to the teachers so this is very important I want you to read for example now I'm going to start chapter number five that is principles of inheritance and variation so in this particular chapter uh, uh, we will be studying about Mendel and his experiments so uh, so what I want you to do is, before you watch the next video, 
I want you to read the first few pages, like a couple of pages from your textbook uh, of chapter number five. So if you read, I'm not saying that you should read in such a way that you understand each and every uh, sentence of that particular chapter. So then uh, watching the video won't make much sense. But what I want you to do is you read and you skim through the information and get a basic idea about what the next video is going to be about. Right. So then uh, you will come better prepared. All right. So I want you to do that. You want you can just uh, before watching the next video, you can read uh, first couple of pages of the chapter. Thank you.